Okay, uh, I'm back. This is a continuation from my first video. And if you didn't see the first video I had about my TP9SA, I'm going to put a link in it in the description of this one, along with a few other links that might be kind of helpful. So, uh, January 26th is when I sent my, my weapon in. Now, they didn't receive it until January 29th, but they had a lot of snowstorms up there, so it was delayed because of the, sto you know, the snow. Can't be mad at them for that. Um, on February 11th, uh, I was emailing back and forth with some customer service reps there, and I was told on February 11th that it was in the shipping department awaiting the three-step shipping process. When I asked what the three-step shipping process was, I was told it's the three steps that shipping has to go through before they can send it. I said, okay, that didn't help me, but that's all right. Okay, so I called multiple times, and at one point I did get to talk to somebody, and they told me, yes, I have it written down because I would never remember all this, <clears throat> that the slide was deburred and that they worked on the magazine. Um, but it was still in shipping, and she was going to email shipping and find out why it has not been sent yet. Well, more time went by, and by March 22nd, Jacob Herman reached out to a friend of mine on a TP9 users group and asked for my info and said he was going to look into it. I'd never heard anything back from him. March 26th, Jason from Sentry Arms reached out on an AR15.com forum. So I called and left a message with him. I never heard anything back. April 1st, April Fool's Day, I thought this is going to go well. I called because Century Arms reached out on their own Facebook page and left a friend of mine the customer service manager's number so I could call her and try to find out what happened. No answer, so I left a message with her also. On April 6th, I called. I didn't ask for anyone specifically because I figured what good would that do? I found out that it was shipped on Friday on the 3rd and that it was on a truck and scheduled to be delivered that day. Um, I couldn't be there, so I picked it up on Tuesday, and this is what I received. First thing I noticed, three brand new magazines. I didn't order them or pay for them, so I'm guessing that this is their way of saying sorry for all the trouble you went through, and I'll take it. Technically, I guess I got four because this is brand new also. I also received another holster. And I looked and I noticed this is not the serial number that I sent in. So I figured this must be brand new. So I took it apart so I could look at the slide. And sure enough, uh, this is the newest version that has the groove going from the face all the way to the back, milled in by the factory. So that should fix the tolerance issue with the magazine. So, just when I thought it was over, exactly one week later, my wife called me at work and asked me if I was expecting anything else from Century Arms. I said, no but I hope it's not another TP9SA like my original one and that they wanted the new one back and the magazines because it was an accident that they sent it to me in the first place. It wasn't. Whew. Here's what I did get. Ice cube trays in the shape of AK-47s and TP9SAs. They gave me two of each, but I've already put two of them in the freezer. I also have stickers, both of the TP9SA and the C39V2, the American AK. I also received two ink pens, look like casings, they actually write pretty well. I also received a little clipping flashlight, it's also a laser pointer. Do not point in anybody's eyes. I also received two cleaning mats. One of the TP9SA 
and one of the RAS-47. And last but not least, a nifty little bag to carry everything in. Well, except for the ice cube trays. They're going to hang out in the freezer. So, I guess all in all, they have resolved the issue that I had with them. They sent me a lot of extra goodies. So I'd say the trouble is probably worth it now with all the extra goodies. So thank you Century Arms for resolving my issue.